Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for our second hot topic, and this one says IMF predicts Nigeria's price levels to surge to 23% by 2025. Now, the development comes from um, following the fund's 2023 prediction that the country's inflation rate for 2025 will slow to 15.5% by 2025. Now joining us to have a conversation is Mukhtar Mohammed, is an international finance and economic analyst, is joining us from Lagos State. Good morning Mukhtar, thank you for joining us. Hello Mukhtar. Good morning, I can hear you. Okay, okay, fantastic. So we're seeing, um, well, predictions to 2025, things might slow up. Please just help us make sense of all of this. Well, what it means is that hopefully we would have gotten most of our economic decisions right, um, especially the exchange rate would have been very stable, and uh, with um, price stability in terms of food, um, energy costs will come down because uh, we're, we're doing local refining, and also the refineries will be paying in Naira, so there will not be pressure on the Naira. Um, a lot of um, uh, reforms that this administration has been back upon would have been beginning to yield results, especially in the areas also of investment, foreign investors, foreign direct investment. That's why the IMF is believing that at 2025, we'll see all, all those things come, come into fruition. And then mm. the, the exchange rate will, I mean, the, the inflation pressure would definitely go down. But that also is depending on if there's no any external forces, because sometimes it's not about you as the economy, but the external right. forces that will come in with their own challenges. Okay, but my question is, because for me, I love um, patterns. I love when you, you know, look at the trajectory of things. So if you're looking at the trajectory of things in the past one year, right, let's just, let's not go too far. Let's start from 2023 to 2024. Do you think this is achievable? Because if we're looking at patterns, they tell you something, they tell you a trend. So is this going to be achievable in, in 2025? Because we're already in 2024, almost neck deep into, into this, and we're seeing inflation rising every single month. So how possible is this for us to get up to this figure that the IMF is predicting in 2025? When you look at 2023, it was, there was no an economy. There was no economy. What we're doing was copy and paste. We're just mm. busy. Um, Buhari administration had no idea. We keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. And so there was no any economic strategies. So when you look at this current administration, they seem to have a little bit of strategy, even if you say it's coming late, even if you say it was horribly put into it, even if you say that um, it's, it's, it's shaky at the beginning, but definitely I think um, they seem to know what they want to achieve economically compared to the Buhari administration of eight years that seems to get Nigeria deep, deep into um, um, debt. Now, I remember also is looking at um, some, um, most of our debt also would have been paid off. We're looking at the widening the tax bracket also, so we have more inflow from Nigeria and the diaspora. So a lot of things the IMF are looking based on this current policy that was not in the previous administration. The previous administration was all about infrastructure, pouring to build infrastructure, even when this infrastructure in itself cannot be generated, they need the revenue to pay off its debt. So um, we had debt challenges. Um, we still have it in this current administration. But exactly. I was just about to strategy. point that out as well, because we're still borrowing, even as of right yeah, now. Yeah, they have a strategy. If you, 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 if you listen to the CBN governor, he was just telling us just yesterday that um, what the fear that we have that external is that was due to the um, pressure of um, putting FX into the hands of period change was driven by debt resettlement debt payment and which is good for your integrity and for the rating of your country so definitely they have a plan they they, they, they are expecting more inflow once the naira stable and you will see a lot of inflows will come in and so that also will relatively bring down the cost of um, exchange rate because nigeria uh, inflationary pressure is driven by high exchange rates and also energy costs now that's energy cost if you look at diesel which is mostly used to power most of our industry. The price seems to be going down since Dangote refineries started producing diesel. So we might begin to see a situation whereby um, that also have a, a, a long-term effect on the price of goods, and that will bring it down also. Then exchange rate will expect stability to be achieved anytime soon. And on going forward, if they continue with the strategy of attracting more inflow, we must continue to see that exchange rate goes down and down until steady at the, at the true value of the, of, of the naira. So 
all things being equal, why MF is so optimistic about it is because in the shortest possible time, you could see what I have told people was the Guinness Book of Economic Recovery, mm -hmm. where, whereby we see our currency from uh, two months ago was um, the worst performing currency in the world and two months later the best performing currency in the world magic well that, that's <laughs> real magic but I, I, our time is up actually but um imf has said 23 percent by 2025 what is your own outlook for 2025 what is your own prediction for 2025 given all the parameters all the indicate indicators uh, that we've seen in as short as possible can you please tell us I, i'm not like imf i'm looking quarter by quarter so i <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm i'm watching it i'm seeing it i've seen it go to 33 i know that by the second half of this year um second quarter of this year we'll see a slowdown i know we end this year strong but i i can't really put a figure to it now but hopefully i think towards the end of this year we might be ending in something between 25 to 28 so and if you look at that by and by what IMF is saying in 2025, it could be achievable. Mm, yeah, because if you are saying 25 to 28, mm -hmm. then maybe 23 percent might just might just it's, happen. It's all right. <laughs> all right. We want to say thank you for coming. It was lovely having a conversation with you and making sense of you know what our inflation rate <laughs> is and what IMF is saying. And hopefully, um, this would reflect in 2025. We're even hoping hoping that even as of right now we might just see a better economy. And thankfully, the government is doing something about it. And, um, well, it might not be far-fetched. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you for coming. It was lovely having a conversation with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we've been speaking with Mokhtar Mohammed. He's an international finance and economic analyst. He was joining us from Lagos State. And we're just talking about the fact that IMF predicts 23% um, for inflation rate in 2025. That is it for the show today. It was lovely having the breakfast with you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well, we sincerely apologize again for the little confusion at the beginning of the show, but we still got it done. And mm -hmm. uh, we thank God for small messes. Until we meet again tomorrow, my name is Nyamgul Agadji. My name is Rumet Paulson. Have an amazing day.